Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing today? I hope your day is going great. I kind of have like, I guess a sad video in a way, not really, but today we're gonna get rid of my big three pound bass, I think. I've had him ever since um, February 18th, so four months exactly. And this guy has been through a lot. He's like hand fed, jump fed, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed him one more time before I get rid of him so he's good, fat, before he goes back to the wild. And I'm also gonna throw a bunch of footage of like old videos I have of him eating lizards and tilapia and underwater, just a bunch of different stuff. Um, one thing I do wanna say before I get this video started is that my GoPro did break. I'm not sure exactly what happened to it. So I'm gonna have to call GoPro and like make a claim for it or anything. So right now I am recording on my phone and I'm gonna be recording on my phone for the rest of the week or two weeks or a month, however long it takes for this bad boy to come back. Right here we have our two small little tilapia fillets. We're gonna see if this guy could get like some airtime. Also, by the way, he's gonna go in that cooler right there and go to a local pond next to me. So yeah, we're gonna get us a slow motion. Hopefully he jumps and yeah, I love you, Mr. Bass. You're a legend. Slow-mo, here we go. Wow, that guy literally bit my whole hand. This guy literally is a legend. It's gonna be sad to release him. I know, like, obviously in the future, I do want to make more ponds, like, in a new house or whatever the case is, and obviously have a bass even bigger, because this guy's only three pounds. Imagine having, like, an eight-pound bass, or even a five-pound bass, how, like, dope that would be. But it's not the end. I will get another bass in the future. Let's go for round two. Wow, that, he, he just got me super wet. But you see this guy's super like trained. He like jumps out of my hand. So is the Paku, by the way. And he follows my hand. He's literally just ate two pieces and he's still hungry, but I can't give him that much food. The pond he's going to has like a bunch of bluegill and cichlid. So like, I know he'll be like well fed there and maybe I could even catch him at that same pond if he stays there. It'll be pretty cool to catch him again in like three months. What I'm gonna do right now is that stupid bird. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna catch his bass because obviously the, the net I have is like way too small, but I'm gonna try to do something. I'm gonna put him in that pond in the um, cooler, take him to the pond, release him, and then come back. Before I start getting water into that cooler and putting the bass in there, I'm gonna roll a bunch of clips, like I said earlier, of him eating different stuff. So let's roll right One, into that. Two, three, fuck it. Well, wasn't that just like the coolest thing you've ever seen? All right, we're just gonna take the lid off that. We're gonna get this bucket right here, put water from the bucket into there, maybe halfway. And like I said, I don't know how we're gonna catch this bass, but we're gonna make it happen somehow. And then I'll catch you guys once we ca catch him or something. I don't know, I might put the camera right there and maybe make a video of me trying to catch him. There we go. We filled it up with four buckets. Um, there's a bunch of little algae stuff in here, as you can tell. But like the water, honestly, I don't know why the water looks like yellow orange here, but like, it's crystal crystal clear. I did move up a couple things, that's why it's a little murky. And it's been raining so much in South Florida that the water like runs down and obviously gets a little bit cloudy too. But yeah, it's pretty clear. I don't know why it looks so dirty. I mean, it is clear, obviously you can tell. I'm kind of upset. I wanted to um, weigh this bass with the same scale I used last time. Last time he was two pounds and 71 ounces. No wait, not, no, not ounces, 2.71, right, pounds. And I wanna weigh him again because it's been three months of me feeding him nonstop. So he has to be at least three pounds, but I can't find my scale. So I just pretty much have to like eye to eye it and see if he looks bigger. Um, the way I think I'm gonna get this fish is I'm just gonna put my hand in the water, try to get up close and lip him and just pull him out of the water. I'm not sure that's gonna be possible, but let's just give it a chance. Oh, so close, so close. Yeah, no, I can't do this. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to get in. I don't really wanna get on barefoot and these little rocks 
are gonna be mega mega sharp but I think this is literally the only way that we're gonna be able to do this because if not I can't really like get a good hand a grip of him so let's see nope Almost, almost, not quite, ow. Okay, that didn't go that well. We almost grabbed him, except that he kind of like ripped my finger up as you can tell. And now he's kind of hiding right back there, but we're gonna try to do that again, except just hold him tighter than that. Obviously, nope, yeah, that's impossible. That didn't work out. Now the whole pond is even more cloudy and my thumb is like bleeding right there, but we're just gonna try to get his head in this net and pull him out somehow. I don't even know how we're gonna do this really. Alright guys, so I'm not sure if I got that really well, but we did get him. That actually wasn't that hard. I don't really want to mess with this guy too much, but this bass is literally... Oh no, he just got me all wet. Okay, yeah. Maybe not. I'll just do that outside when we get to the pond, but take a look at this bass. Look how thick he is. This guy's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on so this guy won't get that stress, right? It'll be like pretty much all dark in there. And then we're gonna go ahead, put this in my car and go to that blue pond where I actually caught the bluegill for this bass like a couple videos ago. And then right there, he'll thrive, eat a bunch of bluegill cichlids and just compete with the wildlife. Okay, so we made it to a spot. As you can tell, I was here a couple of weeks ago. This is a giant, not giant, but it's a pretty big pond. There's like a water pond right there, there's airflow. So it's plenty good for this bass. Luckily, we did find our scale, right? So we grab this right here so we don't really hurt him that much. And then we'll tie this up to there and then we'll weigh him. Hopefully, he's at least three pounds. And then we have a measuring tape that we're gonna measure him too to see how long this bad boy is. And then we'll do a gentle release. And then, yeah. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but he's approximately around 18, between 18 and 17 inches, which is pretty big. We're gonna go ahead, take him out, weigh him. I can't really show that to you guys because, I mean, I'll try to set the phone down here, but I, I don't know how good it's gonna be. All right, guys, the scale goes at 2.93. Um, sadly, he did puke out one of these little tilapia fillets, but as you can tell right here, guys, this is a beautiful, giant pig bass, as you can tell. I think it's a female, because look at the gut this fish has, and I literally didn't feed it much. But beautiful fish, we're gonna go ahead, get a sick relief. So this, as you can tell, like I said earlier, beautiful, giant, fat, healthy fish. Just gonna go ahead, put her right on in here. As you can tell, look how beautiful and sexy she looks. This bass right here is definitely a legend of a fish. And hopefully, maybe, just maybe, one day she's trained in here. Look at her go off into the depth. Guys, this is honestly really, really sad because that bass, like I said, I had it for four months. It was four months. It was a really beautiful bass. He was trained, everything. But I have a feeling that in here, if we come every once in a while with shrimp and tilapia, we low-key might be able to get him to feed again just because this isn't that big and I don't think he's gonna leave this pond. Hopefully he does sit here and maybe one day we come with a fishing rod and like some kind of lure and maybe catch him again and put him in a bigger pond. That'd be pretty badass because we like the same bass twice, like a cool story to tell. But we're gonna go ahead and go home, but I'm gonna end the video here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this and I'll see you guys all next time. Yeah.